All right, guys. In this video, we're going to talk about live bidding techniques, meaning a couple different ideas and, and different tips and tricks that I use when I bid on storage units live. Not online, but live, okay? So we just bought this storage unit here and uh, gonna go through it now. I already did a couple videos with it, but long story short, there's a few bidding techniques that I use when I go to live auctions. This may help you, okay? The idea of this course is to kind of give you my experience and then you take the nuggets, things that will help you and you can apply it to the way that you buy storage units. All right, so a couple, the first bidding technique that I use is I am an aggressive bidder when I'm live, okay? I think that being aggressive is the best way for me, meaning let's say the, 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 the bidding starts, right? And the auctioneer says, let me get 100, and then he'll typically drop down to 50. Let me get 50, he'll, he's waiting for that first bid. Somebody will say, I'm in at 50, right? And then what I do is I'll go, and then he'll be like, okay, give me a hundred, meaning he's going, the auctioneer's going another $50. Give me a hundred. And somebody will bid a hundred. And then I'll come in, and as opposed to going up another hundred, I may go up another 150 or $200. Now, a lot of you guys are like, why would you overspend on storage units? To me, sometimes being aggressive helps. If I, if I jump the bid, meaning, if the bid increments are $50 and I go to 100, that means I jumped it by $50. I really think that you save money in the long run by jumping the bid because what happens is it eliminates a lot of the low hanging buyers that are just kind of in it to see how cheap they can get it. And it makes the people think, you know, that really want this unit, is this something I want to jump into because this guy's jumping the bid. He's, he's going higher than what the auctioneer is asking. If the auctioneer is asking 100 and I offer 200, I jumped it by $100. And that shows what? Being aggressive. So the people that are looking to get a cheap unit know, okay, I'm out of it. Because here's the thing. What happens is, let's say you don't jump the bid and you're not aggressive, then people will bid you the minimum amount. And sometimes when you just bid the minimum amount, uh, kind of like when you buy storage units online where just as the minimum is $10 each bid, I feel like the prices sometimes even go higher because they're, they're bit, it's only another $50. It's only another $50 and before you know it, it's a $400 unit. And at the beginning, as a, if I just would have jumped the bid from 100 to 150 or $200, I probably would have got the unit cheaper and it kind of shocks people too. So that's a technique that I use guys, jumping the bid. So if the auctioneer is asking 100, sometimes I'll ask, I'll say 200. Now. Let me preface this. I don't necessarily uh, recommend you do this when you're a first time storage unit buyer, unless you want to and you're comfortable because this brings a little animosity and it's aggressive. It's an aggressive type of bidding. So unless you're kind of built for that, I don't know if you do this at the very beginning. I'm just giving you techniques that I use currently and that's one of them. I like to jump the bid ask a higher price than what the auctioneer is asking to get the low hanging buyers out of the way. All right, um, another thing that I do is sometimes I'll bring somebody else to the auction. And sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. And so what happens is let's say I'm bidding on a unit and there's four people bidding on it. I'll bid 100, somebody else will bid 150 or $200, and then my friends or family member will bid above them. So they think they're only going up against one of us, but really they're going up against two of us. And whatever price between me and the person that is with me gets, uh, that's the price I'll end up paying. So if I bid 100 and this other guy bids 200, and then the person, my family member or friends bids 300, then he, that person is thinking that they're going up against two people, when all reality they're just going up against me. I just have somebody else. So it looks like there's more people in the pot and a lot of times they'll fold their cards and they'll let us go at it, but really we're together, okay? So that's another option, okay? And again, that's even tough too because, um, and sometimes I'll have my wife bid. Um, that's another technique. Have like your, your wife or significant other bid because sometimes the fellows there don't want to overbid, right? Them. So that's another option. Um, I think the biggest thing you've got to understand when you're bidding live is you are, you want the unit, but you're bidding against somebody right next to you. 
So you've got to fill out the situation. As you continuously go to these live auctions, you'll uncover the people that have money. You'll uncover kind of what type of units they like bidding. You'll kind of understand what type of units they go for. And that will help you in your buying decisions as well because you'll kind of know what you're facing as you're going into it. So it's a really tough subject to talk about bidding techniques live because it really depends on kind of who you're bidding against, what type of units, the whole situation. Um, some auctioneers will start really high. Let's say they'll ask for 400 and then they'll move down to um, 300 and 200 and 100 and then you'll end up putting your bid and then they'll start moving back up. Um, so it really just depends on the situation. But for me, I'm an aggressive buyer. I like to jump the bid, sometimes ask more or pay more than what the auctioneer is currently asking to kind of get the low hanging fruit out of the way. And then I know who my real competition is.